I was uh, solving this. Go into my system solver, type in what I have. Hit enter, okay, and I get the word false. False from your calcula calculator means no solution. So online you would uh, enter does not exist. And again, what it means if you interpret the information is it means these are parallel lines. And now if you were trying to solve this by hand, so let's say you were working through on an SAT where you uh, weren't allowed to use a calculator and you were trying to solve this, uh, the way that this is set up right here, if I were to um, move my, if I were to arrange my uh, terms here, leave the x, I'm going to move this 2y over, so I'm going to add 2y to both sides, and then the 13 stays where it is. Notice I still have, if I take this second equation and I use linear combination, which means I need to multiply everything by a number that would allow me to cancel one of the variables. So I can cancel the y's by sub multiplying everything by a negative. That gives me a negative x, a minus 2y, and a minus 9. Notice what happens here is all my x's cancel, all my y's cancel. And when I combine here, I get 4. And so the way that you can identify that these are parallel lines is if you cancel all the variables and the two constants are not the same. And so if these are uh, different numbers, then it means parallel lines. Uh, if these happen to be the exact same numbers, then what this means is there's many lines. Uh, we're going to talk about this next. It means that these are equations for the exact same line. So there's an infinite number of solutions. Uh, it all depends. Whatever your x is, your y is, is based on that uh, for both equations. But they'll always be the same points that exist on each line. Okay, but that's if this breaks down and gives you the same number. Okay, on your calculator, it's a little bit different. It's, you're not going to be able to see it from this manner. What you're going to see on your calculator, if it has many lines, is you're going to see the at symbol followed by some number. It could be at 1, at 2, at 3, could be at 7, could be at 13. And it kind of resets. It builds up. So the first time, or the the first time you do it, it'll give it some at number. The number is, n is nothing but an indication. It's like a subscript. It just indicates some unknown. It's maybe the third unknown or the seventh unknown that your calculator is uh, manipulating. Okay. It doesn't mean a value of 3 or a value of 7 or a value of 13. And that's, again, one of the bigger things uh, that can cause problems in this. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to use your calculator and try to solve this system. And you can see by the name up above, uh, the false, the parallel lines are called inconsistent systems. And the lines that have, uh, that represent the exact same line are called dependent systems. It means there's infinitely many solutions. Okay, whatever your x happens to be, or you can pick any x, and then you just solve for whatever the corresponding y is. You guys see the little at symbols on your calculators? <coughs> okay, so when you try to solve this, go to your custom tabs, choose the solve template, system solving template. Okay, if I type in my first equation, x plus 3y equals 2, type in my second equation, 9y equals 6 minus 3x, okay, and then solve the resulting equation. Okay, do you see how mine is labeled as at 2? This doesn't mean a value of 2. It doesn't mean I'm multiplying 2 by anything. Okay. All this means is I know that my, so my solution is infinitely many. Okay. So this is an uh, infinitely many so solution. Okay. And so uh, what you can do when you have infinitely many solutions or what you're going to be asked to do when you see a problem like this, which will be problem number seven, okay, uh, is you're going to enter x as your uh, input, your, uh, your um, first value. 
And then to figure out what you're going to enter for your second value, it needs to be in terms of x. Okay? And the way that you can find that is uh, you simply um, solve your equation for y. And it can be either equation. So if we take this equation right here and we solve it for y, so if we subtract the x from both sides, and then we divide by 3, that gives me my corresponding y is negative 1 third x plus 2 thirds. So what that means is I can write my corresponding solution is whatever my x value is times a negative 1 third, and then add 2 thirds, and that's going to be my y. Okay, so you may be just asked to find, is it infinitely many? Is it no solution, or is there one solution? Okay, but you might also be asked to write the uh, expression that represents the solutions, and it would be here. Just plug in uh, an x for your variable, for your first term your of the ordered pair, and then solve for y in either equation. <coughs> because if we took this second equation here and we solve for y, uh, here we would get, I'm just going to reorder my terms a little bit, divide by 9, and if we divide by 9, we get y is equal to negative 1 third x here plus 2 thirds. Notice these are exactly the same. Right? If you wind up with things that are exactly the same, it's this dependent, solution, this dependent system where the solution is infinitely many. Right? You can pick any number for x, and then y just happens to be whatever the uh, expressed value is.